Welcome to puzzle solving number 3. In today's video I'm going to solve a puzzle I haven't seen before. And the video is going to be divided in 3 stages. Number 1, evaluation of the position. Number 2, calculation. And number 3, I'm going to make a summary of what I could have done better maybe or what I think was critical about the puzzle we just solved. So, let's dive into it. As I said, I haven't seen this puzzle before other than when I was getting ready to record this. And the first thing I'm going to do is evaluation. So evaluating is uh, looking at who's what's the material balance, who has more points in material, king safety, piece activity, uh, pawn structure, um, weaknesses. All of these things help me give some context about this position in particular. So let's start with material balance because this one is one of the highest priorities in general. So we have three pawns as white and black as three pawns. So material balance is equal, which means that that's... That's not going to be the deciding factor. The deciding factor is going to be maybe peace activity, which is something I'm going to move on right now. So peace activity wise, it seems like black pawns just for now are closer to promoting. So maybe that's 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 telling me already that I have to be careful as white. So already here, I'm not considering this, but I'm not calculating yet. Don't confuse it. I'm not calculating yet. I'm evaluating first. And then after I have enough context and information about this position, I'm going to start calculating. That's the right order. So as much as I want to start calculating just now, I'm going to hold myself because I know by experience that it's not the way I should do it. So already here, I think that black spawns are already a little bit advanced. Um, and the only way you, you're going to stop this one is probably taking. So that's something that I also consider briefly while evaluating. Something else I'm going to evaluate is king safety. But OK, this is an end game. King safety is not going to be a high priority. If anything, king activity is going to be a high priority. So how active is this king going to be towards this king? So towards stopping that pawn, sorry. Um, that's something that remains hidden until I start calculating. So I think I've evaluated enough. Um, in, in pawn end games, I also st like start thinking about motives. So for instance, a motive could be black uh, promoting with check. That's a motive, something I have to watch out. Something that I already know at the back of my mind while calculating. Another motive might be that maybe I like one side promotes with check and then there's a skewer to the, the queen. I think this one's unlikely though, because we need a pawn. We need, let's say this pawn was on a2 and this pawn was on h7 and black played a1. I, that would be the motive, but it seems difficult to get in this position in particular. Okay, I think we can move on to calculation now. So when we calculate, we have to do something called candidate moves. And what that makes or what that, what that does is that it forces us to consider at least three moves. So make a list of three moves that are the most attractive in this position. The reason why we do candidate moves is because most of the time we are too linear. We're too, we go into the first move that we like and we start calculating that in depth and that's a mistake. Why? Because that prevents us from finding a better move right at the beginning. So. Something that sticks with me is uh, a grandmaster once said, people get it wrong in how, in how wide they calculate rather than how deep they calculate. So you have to consider more moves rather than calculate deeper. That's where most players get it wrong. So e3 was played by black. I think my first candidate move is going to take that pawn. My second candidate move is hard to think. I don't think I, I have any other candidate moves for now. So I can't use three moves. But I'm quite sure that after takes, I will be able to use um, candidate moves after that. So taking seems like the only candidate move. Other than that, I really don't think there's anything else. My king c4, this is going to promote. This, this is going to promote. So f takes c3 is pretty safe to make. In fact, I think we can already make that move. I don't have either, either, even a check. And something like this, of course, is just losing. So I'm going to take, which is pretty obvious by, by method of elimination. And black plays king e5. So now I think it's pretty safe to go for candidate moves. Let's go. Candidate move, e takes d4. That's a forcing move. Candidate move king c4. In case of that, I, have, I play king d3. And let's see. Is there any other candidate move other than this and king c4? There's a5, but after takes... Then I have candidate moves there, king c3 and a6. Um... A6, E2, black promote with check, and I'm lost. So A5 takes, King C3 has to be played. Interesting. What other options do I have? It takes D4, King takes D4, this, A5, F4, A6. 
3A7. Promote both of us. And it doesn't seem like we have any forced way of either trading queens and getting a winning pawn endgame. Or just winning a queen. If actually, it, it's pretty funny. If, if the king was on e5 and the king was on c5, and I promote and black promotes, I have queen e8 check. That's a motive. This is the motive we were talking about, but it doesn't happen here because the king is on d4. Uh, sorry, on c4 and e4. And yeah, after. Actually, on b4 and d4 in that line, e takes d4, king takes d4, a5, f4, a6, f3, a7, f2, a8, f1. I'm not getting the, the, the motive I wanted, so. Interesting. E takes d4, I conclude after king takes d4. Once again, candidate moves. I guess that. I guess that it, this is going to be a draw. A5, F4, and this is going to be a draw. A6, F3, A7, F2, and it's a draw. What about King B3? F4, King C2. F3, King D2, and that's a win now. So black has to be careful. King B3, King D3. Or maybe F4, King C2, King E3. Then King D1. And King F2, A5. A f3 a6 g1 a7 f2 a8 there we go never mind this is a draw so hmm what about a5 king e2 a6 f4 7 f3 oh that's winning for white but yeah that the, the other line was a draw um okay no wait sorry e takes d4 king takes d4 king b3 if f4 i have king c2 king e3 a5 f4 sorry e takes d4 sorry let's do that again king takes d4 king b3 f4 king c2 king e3 a5 f3 a6 f2 a7 f1 yeah this is a draw i'm actually yeah this is even more of a draw because black promotes first okay so e takes d4 i already i'm already put off by that so it's not going to be e takes d4 it's going to be either a5 or king c4 which are my candidate moves for first i mean h4 is not out of the question and in fact h4 it wasn't my candidate move but now now i'm going to have my three candidate moves once again h4 originally it was e takes d4 a5 and king c4 but e takes d4 is rejected now so i'm gonna replace that one with h4 just because I, I i started calculating and you're allowed to consider one more candidate move after a while of calculating so h4 New candidate move, king c4 is the old one, and a5. So a5, I want to look at a5 because it looks pretty forcing. So what happens? d takes, king c3 is forced there because if not e2 is there. So a5 takes, king c3. What is going on there? What if, what if black makes a silly move or like f4? Play a6, f3, a7, f2, a8. F1. And this is... This is a draw. Queen e8. King d5. Queen takes e3. Is this a draw? Probably, yeah. So, a5, d takes, king c3, f4. Seems to be drawing. But what if, instead of a6, I go king d3 in that position? King d3. Black can't pu push because it's going to lose this one. So king d5, a6, king c6, and then h4. This is winning. Okay, so a5, d takes e3, king c3, f4, king d3. Once again, calculating wide rather than deep. Because I already calculated a6 in depth. But if I had gone candidate moves there, I think I would have found it. I found a better better position already. So d takes e3, a5, sorry. a5, d takes e3, king c3, f4. King d3 seems to be winning. So I'm going to move on to a5, d takes e3, king c3. And before I go into f4, black must have a way to try to, to prevent this from happening. For instance, king e4. What is going on there? a6, king f3, a7, e2, a8 check, king f2. This is a little bit scary. I mean, even though we promoted first, we promoted first, but it's not obvious. Queen a7 check. Do you have that position? My king, as white has white's king is on c3, black's king is on f2, and there's a pawn on e2, and we have a queen on a8. So, 
that position. You can go queen a2. We can probably get close to the pawn. In this in this endgame, sometimes there's there's the queen is misplaced on a8 and there's no checks. So that's what I'm worried worried about. So queen a7 check, king f1. I already ran out of checks, but I can pin the pawn. And that I say king f1, there's nothing else other than king f1. If king g2, I play queen e3, and I get closer right away. And after king f1, I play king d2. So that's out of the question. After queen e7, check king f1. King e1, once again, also a mistake. Um our king is on c3, so actually we have queen g1 mate right away. But even if the king wasn't on c3, you're getting on the way of the pawn. So king f1. And um, there I think I can play queen e6. Pinning the pawn. Black has to move away if black wants to promote the pawn. If not, king d2 is coming. So king f2. And then we get close again. Queen b6 check. King f1. Queen b5. And then after king f2, we can take this and it's a, it's a win. So... That's winning. A5, D takes E3, King C3, King E4, A6 is winning. So it's not that. A5, this, King C3. What is black going to play then? King D5. King D3, F4. H4. And we're winning. So I think... I think A5 is looking pretty good. Let's go for it. Ah, f4. We didn't consider that for black scandal moves. Interesting. I thought that this was the only move. But f4. Hmm. Okay, so now e takes f4 is a candidate move, e takes d4 is a candidate move, and a6 is a candidate move. I'm pretty safe that it's pretty safe to say that in tho those one of those three moves is going to be the winning one. So e takes e takes f4, king takes f4. What is going on there? There's also king e4, maybe that's important. But e takes f4, king takes f4, a6, d3. Um, king c3, king e3, a7, d2, a8, d1. And there's no real way of forcing a queen trade. If I kind of force a queen trade somehow, I can get h4, h5 maybe. So e takes a 4, king takes 4, a6, d3, king c3, king e3, a7, d2. And there's no way. Okay. And what about e takes d4, king takes d4, a6, f3, a8, a7, f2, a8, f1. Once again, we, we get that endgame where it's not clear. Ah, but I have an idea. This is amazing. So I can play. That's amazing, actually. Is this real? King c4, e takes f... No, I'm crazy. King d3, king f4. A6, king f3, a7. No, it, it does work because I queen with check. That's amazing. Okay, so king c4, which is not the candidate moves I considered. I only considered a6, e takes f4, and e takes d4. But king c4 is actually an idea that I came up with after I started calculating a little bit. So king c4, let's say black plays f takes e3. I play king d3. And we get a similar position in which the white king is stopping these two black pawns. And my two pawns, one of my two pawns, because they're so far away. And one of them is definitely going to promote. And the only way black can play against that and find counterplay is to try to promote their own pawn. So in that line, king f4 is logical, but a6, a6, king f3 to try to push a2, but a7, e2, a8 is check, and we're winning. So, interesting. King c4, e takes, f takes e3 is winning for white. So king c4, what about d takes e3? King d3, sorry, king d3. And we're winning again. King c4 is the brilliant move. Now, black can still try to... Ah, no, wait. Ooh, you, you, f3. Yeah, I missed that. I mean, it's a little bit scary because I missed it, but it doesn't mean I have to reject it. But king c4, f3, king d3. What is going on there? And I repeat, it's pretty amazing that, that this is working, or it seems it's working. It takes a 4, king takes a 4, king c4. Would work if white if black goes there because then we promote with check, but then king c4 king e3 is there and we don't promote with check anymore, and that's that's making the whole difference. So, so king c4 once again f3 king d3, and let's think about this. F2 we play king e2 and even though there's this, we just play a6, and our pawn is promoting, and there's no, no. Black is not quick enough. King d4, a7. King c4, f3, king d3. Uh, let's say f2, this, this, a6. King d4, a7. Yeah, black is not quick enough. 
King C3, A8, yeah. So King C4, F3, King D3, we're happy. King C4, King E4 is the one. But then I say A6 there. And even though, yeah, we're going to promote with check. That's King C4. Wow. And after F3, we talk about King D3. And there we go. So now we're going to summarize what happened. So at the beginning, we had candidate moves. Normally, you, you want to create a list of three candidate moves, but because there's only one very forcing move, we can er eliminate everything pretty quickly. A5 doesn't work to E2. H4 doesn't work to E2. Uh, King C4 doesn't work to E2. King B3 doesn't work to E2. So E2 or E takes F2. There's something we have to do about that. So takes is safe to say that it's the only move. King E5, and then we create candidate moves again. So um, in this position, I had A5. King c4 and e takes d4. e takes d4 we, pre we pretty much eliminated first after king takes d4. Um, and a5 seemed to be the only way to, to force the matters. King c4 may be an idea now that we're talking about this in res retrospective. But um, if king e4 might have, tr might, might have forced this in which our pawn is too slow now because it's on a4. So one tempo makes the whole difference. For instance, king c4, king e4, e takes d4, f4, a5, f3, this, 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 F1 promotes with check, and we, we're we losing the game. So, so A5 seemed very forcing, because we, we saw that Black's only move was... Um, Black's, actually, we were already thinking that we were doing well, because if D takes C3, we just play King C3, but Black went with F4, which we missed. And once again, we have to be very accurate, because if we go E takes F4, then uh, we're losing for the reasons we talked about. Uh, King takes F4, King C4, King E3 is there. So... We had to find king c4 and understand that always if black takes, this king is, is stopping these two pawns and one of our pawns is definitely going to promote. So after f3, we just had to find king d3 and that was the end of the puzzle. Okay, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you have any suggestions in general, also please let me know. And as always, have a nice day.